system, but y'all is the rock the kiss of death for franchises? Look, I want to. So how about we don't make stuff up to create a narrative to get likes for content? Because that's what you did with your video. In your video, you talked about Fast and Furious. You talked about G.I. Joe, The Mummy. And then you talked about Brendan Fraser's career in general. Now, here's the facts about the movies that you talked about. Fast and Furious 4, which was the first one before The Rock came in, it was Vin Diesel's big return to the franchise. It did $360 million in the box office. When they added The Rock, it did $620 million in the box office and four more movies. That's not a kiss of death for a franchise. Sorry. Next one, you talked about G.I. Joe. Now let's not pretend that the first G.I. Joe was a good movie whatsoever. That movie was so bad, Channing Tatum had to be forced to return because of his contract from the first movie to do it. But they worked it around to where he could be killed off at the beginning of the movie. That's just the facts of it. The Rock didn't steal the movie from Channing Tatum. He didn't even want to do the movie. And then there was another G.I. Joe after that movie, which also sucked. All three of the G.I. Joe movies sucked. Stop playing around. Next, you talked about The Mummy. And you act like The Rock muscled Brendan Fraser out of his own franchise with The Mummy. Problem is, The Rock wasn't a star, a superstar in Hollywood back then. He was a WWF wrestler. And he wasn't even the top earning wrestler. That was Stone Cold Steve Austin. So you're trying, and so you're going to tell me that The Rock, with no pull in Hollywood, was able to muscle out Brendan Fraser, who was putting out hit after hit after hit of his own franchise. That's bullcrap. Then you went on to say he killed Brendan, Fra- helped kill Brendan Fraser's career. But let's not pretend that Brendan Fraser wasn't blacklisted for years because he came out and said that executives were trying to make him do stuff and touch him and whatnot in ways he didn't want to be touched. He was assaulted, basically. And that blackballed him. And then you didn't mention it, but everybody else has been, oh, he's killing Cavill's career. Like, he's the one who fired Cavill from being Superman. And that wasn't James Gunn in DC. Because he makes the decisions around here. He got us Cavill back as Superman. It's not his fault that James Gunn wants to go a different route. So let's stop playing around and come with facts here.